Let us to move to uh, just one final question, and of course, as I said, uh, in connection to this, but now in Kenya Kwanzaa, we mentioned it before. We have a member of parliament uh, uh, for Madeira, uh, Rigathi Kashagwa, who made it clear that they are not going to settle for anything less than running mate position. And we are looking at the uh, those who are being considered for this post among a number of others. We have uh, Tharaka, Tharaka Niti Senator Giture Kendiki, Kenyaka Governor Anne Waiguru, MPs, we have Dindi Nyoro of Kiharu, Alice Wahome of Kandara, we have... Uh, 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 outside the region, we have ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi, who has also been hinted as a possibility. So we have more than around five people who are uh, there from, so of, of course, different regions. Leaders, leaders from Mount Kenya have, however, insisted that uh, the deputy uh, 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 who, th that, that who, he who shall deputize uh, uh, Ruto for running mate must come from that region, from Mount Kenya. And I'm looking at uh, what was said in Embu, and I'd like to quote what, what one, one person said in Embu at the, during this weekend, the leaders said that they did not have any preferred uh, name from the region, but pledged to support whoever is going to be picked. And uh, I'm looking at what was said that, uh, provided that the Ruto picks someone from the mountain because they have had such an arrangement they are going to be okay with it. And they do not want people to divide the region into east and west. Whoever he decides that, that will help him, uh, they will support them 100%. Now the question is, what if the person who shall be running it will not come from the mountain on the DP side? Uh, Wiper. Okay, Ram, I think... Uh just like I stated before, we would love to see a deputy president come from any part of this, uh, of this country. But uh, it is not going to play out in 2022. Mm -hmm. As things stand, the next deputy president of the Republic of Kenya must come from Mount Kenya region. Mount Kenya is vote rich. You remember that it composes 35% of the Kenyan votes. So it is a constituency that one would never write off. The question of picking the only possible deputy president candidate outside Mount Kenya, in as far as the Kenya Kwanzaa arrangement is concerned, mm. is Wycliffe Musalia Mudavadi. What if there? Yeah, what if Musalia Mudavadi is picked? Will there be a problem within Kenya Kwanzaa? We are people. We are people have said Ruto Tawe. And I think that mm. one translates into no Ruto. Whether he picks Wycliffe Musalia Mudavadi as the, president, uh, as the presidential candidate for Kenya Kwanzaa, the Luya people have said as the, as, 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 as the deputy. As the deputy. Not the president, as the deputy. Whether he picks him as the deputy or any position, the Luya people have said that to the last man, they will stand with Raila Molodi. And you know you can never compromise them. Gerald? Yeah, I, th I think re region is also a factor here because uh, if, uh, for example, Ruto decides to pick a candidate, that is not from the Mount Kenya region, then there are some questions. I think it will be a, a very big gamble because uh, most voters, in, of course, come from the Mount Kenya region. And if, for example, if he chooses somebody like Mudavadi, th there are some consequences, you know, through that. So choosing... So he, he must pick somebody from... He must uh, pick somebody mount. from Mount Kenya. He must? He must, I think. For him to be safe, I think he must pick Musala somebody. Mudavadi is not an option for him. Msalem Mudavadi is not an option. Msalem Mudavadi may just show his ambitions for, uh, to, to deputize uh, Ruto to, to get another post, but not to deputize. Uh, I don't think he has any chance to deputize uh, William Samuel Ruto. I think for Musalem Mudavadi, it is not shelving an ambition. Because immediately Musalem Mudavadi left the other camp to the other camp, he reduced himself from a senior political character in this country to a minor political character in this country. So it is not a conversation. There can never be a conversation of Mudavadi deputizing uh, William Samway Ruto. And then I think it would be the worst betrayal ever because William Ruto has hugely invested in Mount Kenya region from the onset. And you know the political, the political marriage that currently William Ruto has with Mount Kenya 
I think he has slightly above 40 percent of the Mount Kenya voters. Well, Raila Molodinga also has a, a, a good share of close to 35 percent because the other percent will not turn out to vote. So William Ruto will have to. He has got no option, has no option, but to pick a deputy president from Mount Kenya region. And then I think on Rigadi Gashagwa. Yesterday I saw them come up. If you see the Rigadi Gashagwa that we had before, he's a man that has been played. If you analyze mm. him critically, you will see that there is some sense of there is some sense of betrayal that he has seen, because from the onset, he was the most formidable force. He was the most preferred candidate to deputize Ruta. But as things stand now, I think Rigadi Gashagwa has got no chance. Because, uh, I st but I still believe that he's the best that should deputize Ruto. But as things stand now, I think Rigati Gashagwa has got nothing. But though the irreducible minimum for the central Kenya UDA leaders still remain, understand that the deputy president of their coalition must come from Mount Kenya. And I believe that whoever, whoever would pick the, the deputy president, it has to become, it has to, he or she has to come from the Mount Kenya region. Mm -hmm. It is a compulsion. There is no option about it. Like There's no two ways about it. Mm -hmm. He or she must come from Mount Kenya. And of course, um, uh, this is uh, what we are taking a look at because one week from now, uh, uh, we are supposed to get the final list as, uh, the, uh, as, at, uh, as of who shall be the deputy for either Raila Odinga or uh, uh, William Ruto in the coming general elections. Of course, this will either make or break these two coalitions for Kenya Kwanzaa or Azimio Az One Kenya. What shall happen after this? Well, time will tell. Initially, remember the IBC seted, uh, slated the 28th of April as the deadline for the, uh, that is uh, the final day for presidential hopefuls to submit their names alongside those who shall be their running mates. But the consultations uh, uh, that were made changed the date from that 28th of April to 16th of May this year. That is going to be in the coming one week. So as of next Monday, we need to have this final list. Who will it be that will deputize William Ruto? And who will deputize Raila Amolo Odinga? Give us your thoughts in regards to this. The hashtag as always is why in the morning at Ram Maguko and at Y254 channel. It is all about understanding what youths say in regards to the political issues that are taking center stage in the country. And I want to give you each one, uh, I mean, 30 seconds to have a final word in regards to this. But before I, uh, before you do, Yesterday was Mother's Day. I think we should not fail to talk about that, Kidogo. Yeah, just within a minute or so. Uh, yesterday was Mother's Day. Maybe yeah, you, you can give in your thoughts. And if you have somebody that you like, you'd, you'd like to wish, also feel free to do so before you give our final word. Uh, Gerald? Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to wish uh, my mother a happy Mother's Day. My mother called Selina Nyakoa. I love to also wish my aunt Rebecca Hakali, I believe she's watching, my cousins and my friends, all my friends who are watching, Kaudo, Philip Kaudo, thank Philip you. Philip, so. you know, Mother's ah. Day. <laughs> <He's watching. laughs> but, but I get you, I get you, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah. Yes, uh, David, uh, yesterday was Mother's Day. Uh, yesterday was Mother's Day and we celebrated it to, together with them. Mm -hmm. yeah, so the women of this country, I want to wish you Happy Mother's Day because whether a mother today or not, you will one day become a mother. So Happy Mother's Day because you are the backbone of this country, you are the backbone of this of this nation. And please, in honor of that, I think uh, being the week that we're also going to announce the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, let us honor the mothers by... Not the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya by oh. the coalitions. For th those are going to vie for Th that position. For that position. Yes. I think the coalition should consider consider giving it to women. And especially from uh, fr from our coalition, that is Azimio, uh -huh. uh, with all the cuts, with all the considerations, I think Sabina Chege uh, <laughs> has higher chances of becoming the Raila's running mate. And we also <laughs> like to take this opportunity to wish my mother from the 
from the fertile parts of uh, Migori, or the, mm. the, the, the southern part of Nyanza. My mother is uh, Pamela Akinyi. I want to wish her happy Mother's Day. My, 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 my girlfriend, who is also not, a, not yet a mother. A future one. A future one. She's called Lynette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to wish her happy Mother's Day. Prior, prior, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever she is. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. I want to have a final word in regards to this. And of course, happy Mother's Day to uh, each one of, of you, belated Mother's Day. Uh, and uh, let me come to you, Gerald, and then I come to you, uh, David. Have a final word in regards to this issue. We've discussed about matters concerning, you, uh, you know, uh, the, the, who's going to de deputize the different leaders, Raila Odinga on one end and uh, William Ruto on the other. Within 30 seconds, what is your parting shot? Okay. Uh, as we come to the end, uh, I would like to say... I would like to say, Martin Luther King Jr. once said that uh, we need leaders who are not in love with money but who are in love with justice, who are not in love with the publicity but who are in love with humanity. And uh, our country, in our country today, we need leaders who value the truth. And uh, truth, because we are living in a century where truth crashed to earth, will rise again and uh, Considering the political landscape and the political temperatures in our country today, we need to understand that we need to root, we need to root our strength in the three potent pillars, peace, love and unity, which right. will uh, help us uh, to navigate through this uh, entire period in All this right. campaign. Thank you. Thank you. David, okay, thank parting you. short. Thank you, Ram. My parting short is, uh, goes to William Ruto. I, I empathize with William Ruto. Because Raila Molodinga is there to launch the mother of all campaigns together with his brother Uru Mwigai Kenyatta. So I empathize with the Ruto because it is not going to be tenable for him. Because the magnitude of the machineries that is going to be employed in this country to see Raila Molodinga become the fifth president of Kenya has never been seen before. And to the Kenyan electorates, it is our time to decide. In as much as uh, Joseph Stalin did put it as uh, that the, the voters really do not play a role in the elections, those who decide whoever wins the election are those that count the votes. So right. the voters of Kenya, please let us play our part, let us play our role, let us execute our democratic right, right from the MCA position to the member of parliament, to the women rep, Senator Governor, and to the President. And let us hope to, for the very best. Our main intention should be to revitalize our economy. We need to enhance employability. We need peace and stability for All the right. economic growth. Thank That's you understood. so much, Ram. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Amen. 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 And amen. May God bless you too, my brother. Thank you so much, Gerald Minishi and uh, David Wiper for coming. I wish you guys the best. Keep doing what you're doing. And of course, uh, keep engaging with us from wherever you are. But that brings us to the end of uh, this particular conversation on youth and politics. But we still have more coming up your way right here on Y in the morning. Of course, conversations uh, do not stop. In matters concerning politics, one day is a long, long time time and now we have one week what do we expect to happen by monday who shall deputize each leader that is vying for presidency but remember let me say this even as you continue raila odinga william ruto are not the only presidential hopefuls we have many others that are vying for presidency including one professor george wajakoya a professional joker. <laughs> <laughs> the other, the other, in the words come, of come on. in the words of Francis Atuli, we call them pundas. <laughs> Let's bring this conversation to a, to a close. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Wait, <laughs> uh, uh, thank you so much for tuning in uh, this evening, uh, this morning, right here on Y in the morning. But we still have much more coming up your way. Stay tuned. My name is Ram Aguko. It has been a pleasure. Okay, thanks. Thank you.